thanks very much. That's uh, Swing Guitars, written in 1936. I've been doing um, a series of shows with these two brothers, the Date Brothers, Ian and Nigel Date. And this is a song that um, Ian calls out quite a lot, and it's a lot of fun. It's um, an, an early Django tune. And last night we did a gig in Newcastle in the lovely weather that was last night. It was a very popular <laughs> gig. It was millions of people watching our gig in Newcastle in a big church. No, it was actually a disaster, but it was uh, but it was Newcastle nonetheless in a church. It was a very ironic gig, and Ian called the tune "Sweet Chorus," which is um I think a great song that a lot of people don't seem to play. It's a Django tune, and um a number of years. Oh, it was a triumph. Yes, it was an absolute. It was an absolute triumph. It was it was wonderful. It was it was, it was people m people throwing flowers at us and oranges and tomatoes and all, all kinds of pointy vegetables but anyway like there's a song called so there's a song called sweet chorus which um i recorded a number of years ago with nigel in a little trio format and we tried to recreate this sound that we rec with that we um recorded another song called souvenirs which is on my cd for sale called souvenirs and i'll tell you a little story just very quickly because it is a funny one is that we recorded this track souvenirs some years ago um at a friend of nigel's place out in the sticks and we listened to the recording it sounded fantastic except for the sound of <laughs> which was the sound of cicadas because it was kind of like this weather outside is horrible weather with rain non-stop and so basically the recording was stuffed <laughs> yeah exactly we get a lot of rain the rain follows us like a bad smell but anyway but anyway so um so this recording we didn't know what to do with it because it sounded great and um nigel had an old version of garage band on his computer that quickly got updated so he's never been able to find the settings ever again but somehow or other, it sounded exactly like a Django Reinhardt recording, literally exactly like it. And this recording sat idle on my computer for years until I put on the latest CD. But we made a small CD called Souvenirs. No, not Souvenirs, sorry. We made a CD called Sweet Chorus with this song called Sweet Chorus. And we tried to recreate the same sound as the Garage Band recording, but we used plastic bags to try and get the distorted <laughs> sound like the cicadas. <laughs> so it's, fan it's true, remember? We Do you remember? We should have done the other day. Yeah, no, we should have done it. It's fantastic. It, sound, it's, it almost sounded as good as the Cicadas, but not quite as good. But it's a great song. It's called Sweet Chorus. It's by Django Reinhardt. It's another one of his early ones. It's from 1936. There's a reason why I'm playing his early songs and then his later songs, because it's from before the war and then during and after the war. Everything changes completely from that period. So it's a great piece of music, Sweet Chorus, 1936.
go. If you if you close your eyes, you can imagine you're in 1930s Paris and you can hear this music. Now um, we'd like to play a song. Um, it's more in keeping with Django's uh, um, ethnic gypsy ca gypsy background. It's a song called Tears, which he wrote in 1937, but it's actually based on an old traditional song. Um, but he embellished it somewhat, changed the chords and added a few different things to the melody. So this is Tears, 1937.
like to um, like to call a good friend up onto the stage, Mr. Eddie Bram, Mr. Eddie Bronson. Is there an Eddie Bronson here? Once Eddie set up, we're going to play a song called Daphne, written in 1937. This is quite a famous song. It's a very popular Django Reinhardt song. You often hear it on television ads. It's a very cutesy kind of song, reminiscent of the, area, uh, of the era. Daphne.
Thank you very much. We'd now like to play um, probably one of the most popular songs by Django Reinhardt, the one that everyone seems to always mention whenever you mention his name, which is of course the song Minor Swing. Um, and this one is written in uh, 1937, and it's probably one of his most popular, popular songs, Minor Swing by Django Reinhardt.
Thank you very much. We've got time for a couple of more before we have a short set break. But before we um, we go to a set break, I just want to introduce these amazing musicians who I get to play with. And it's um, always, whether it's me leading the band or someone else leading the band, it's, uh, it's always fun and really a real honour to play with such phenomenal musicians. It's Eddie Bronson yeah, on the saxophone, yeah. on clarinet. He also plays, <laughs> plays accordion. I mean, everyone knows Eddie, but Eddie and I are very close. We've been playing music together for years. This is Ian Date on guitar. I don't think all of you have know how lucky you are to hear this great musician, Nigel Date on guitar, his brother, and Natalie Morrison on bass. Daniel Watlinger. The next tune which we're going to play is called Swing 39. Django Reinhardt wrote a series of swing tunes that he named after various years in history, although sometimes he wrote tunes like Swing 42, whatnot, that were written in a year before earlier. But this is Swing 39, written in 1939, before everything went completely to the shit. And um, the tune which we're going to follow after that with that is a tune called Hungaria, which he um, which he named after, I guess after where a lot of it, lot, some of his ancestors would have come from some centuries before in Hung Hungary. So anyway, swing 39 Hung Hungary.
Thanks very much. Just once again, Eddie Brunson on horns, Ian Day, Nigel Dan on guitar, Natalie Morrison, I'm Daniel Wellinger. We're going to finish off with Hungaria. And um, we all have the CDs for sale. The $20 are up the back. If you'd like to buy CDs, take us home with you. That'd be wondrous of you. Uh, there's not many of you, but if you'd like to buy CDs, please feel free. Gee, there's, you can hear a pin drop when you say that. <laughs> this is Hungary. Thanks very much. Sorry? There's another set. Oh, is there? Yeah, there is another set. We're going to have a set break, <laughs> which means you have about you have 20, 30. <laughs> What's this another set? There's, um, there's gonna, you have 20, 30 minutes to buy as many CDs as you need to. I mean, I know you have lots of friends who would love to have CDs. And, you know, even though Christmas is quite a number of months away, <laughs> or Paso Passover's just finished, or God knows what other festival you all celebrate, everyone needs a CD. In this day and age when... God knows. Sorry? God knows. God knows. Yes, thank you, exactly. God knows you need a CD. In fact, you don't want a CD. You need. There's a difference between the word want and need. You need a CD. So I, I urge you wonderful people to buy CDs from all of us because we're poor, starving musicians who drowned in misery last night in Newcastle. <laughs> and you'd be doing an awful lot to help us all out if you bought our CDs and paid for, paid for this one's ticket back to Ireland. So anyway, here you go. This is Hungary. Thanks very much. Thank you. 
Thanks very much. We'll be back shortly. Thank you. <laughs>